Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Well, the captain is about ready to roll. So that's coming right along with us today. We are leaving Sycamus, British Columbia. That's right. Proceed to the highlighted route. Alright, well that's what we're gonna try and do there, RJ. In 200 feet, we turn left on. It's yeah, and just then be patient with me. Feet. We don't want to be racing through this truck stop up here. Come on now, RJ. Turn right. Yeah, we will do that here in a second. But as you can see, it's uh, still fairly dark out here. Yeah. I know there's a Tim Martins just down the road from here, but uh, I'm not planning on stopping there. I don't really have any plans to stop anywhere except unless we have to uh, do a brick check, which I do think we do have to do. But other than that, I don't have any plans to stop. I got about five and a quarter, five and a half hours, depending on how everything goes. And I'll be at the terminal. Yeah, Surrey, BC. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today. Don't look too cloudy, as far as I can see. I can even see the moon up there. So I don't think we should have a too bad of a day's worth of driving down here today. That's what I think. Yeah. Doesn't look like there's too much snow up here either. Yep. And just up here to the right, that's where you're gonna see the Tim Hortons. That's where you almost always see trucks stop. This one truck is starting to get onto the highway here, so that's why I'm slowing down. I don't want to be rear-ending him. Yep. Right here, there's all these people stopping up here getting their Timmy's. But I ain't gonna do that today. No. Not that I wouldn't want one. I just have decided not to do that today. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But anyways, that's coming right along with us today. And let's have ourselves a fantastic day together today. Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome? I think so. Alright guys, if you look right here to the right, we are driving right beside the lake up here. Or a river or whatever you want to call it up here. But uh, yeah, it, it's a good place here after Sycamus that we drive beside this lake up here to the right. Absolutely beautiful area up here. You got a little bit of fog further that way, further toward the right up there. And right here we got about a paper mill or something like that. And they used to uh, have logs here in the, in the lake and stuff like that, you know, or a river, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, a big wood factory up here. Yep. That's for sure, but now we're starting to uh, disappear from the lake a little bit. Or river, I think it starts going towards the right over there, so we're not going to see it much longer anymore. Salmon Arm, that's where this, I guess this is it, eh? Right here, that's where they got a bit of a thing there, Salmon Arm. Alright. 
Here we are coming into Solomon Arm. Yeah. A little bit of a town here in the mountains. It looks nicer when you come down from up there too, but always takes a good while till the cameras turn on with the remote, right? So it took me a little bit. I wasn't able to get that exact perfect shot that I wanted, but uh, hey, too late now, so we can't re do it unless we go back and come back again. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of Salmon Arm. I don't know what happened to Salmon Arm, but I always make fun of that. I always say Salmon lost his arm up here. <clears throat> they went looking for it and they found it in here and they started building buildings up here and they started living here. No, I don't know. I'm just, that's just a joke. That's just a joke. Oh yeah. Beautiful little town though. I don't know what kind of work they would do up here, but hey, I guess they must do something. Otherwise, uh, people wouldn't be able to survive up here, right? That's what I think. Anyways, let's continue on. Alrighty guys, you are gonna get to see the lake up here again a little bit. We're sort of zigzagging around the big mountains up here, going right between the mountains and the lake or river, whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful out here today. Very calm weather. Uh, don't see any waves at all on the lake. Nothing. Beautiful, gorgeous day out here today. Wow, can you imagine? Riding along with me here and seeing this, taking this all in, it's just absolutely breathtaking up here. Beautiful, beautiful mountains in the background like that, you know. And then you got the lake in between there. Whoa, you're coming around that corner pretty faster, uh, Dan Ross. Yeah, you're supposed to slow down to 60 kilometers an hour around some of these corners, you know. He's just flying around these corners. Yeah, oh well. But anyways, I figured I would give you guys a bit of a glimpse again and what we see up here. Yeah. Well guys, we just went to another brake check here today and I hope you can see this. We're pretty much on the top of the mountain up here. And we are starting to go downhill. Oh yeah. Yes, sir, Bob. It's a long way down, that's for sure. We're gonna be all the way at the bottom of this hill when we get, when we reach that bottom. It's a long way down, guys. Oh yeah, but it's nice and sunny up here today. I don't know why this particular trip, my ears are popping all the time when I'm going downhill. I never had that happen before to me, but. I guess that's the way it is. But we are going down, down, downhill. We passed Kamloops already. We only got about two and three quarter hours to go and then we'll be at the terminal uh, in Surrey, BC and we'll drop our trailer. We still haven't gotten a reload offer yet uh, from there. So I guess we're gonna see what they're gonna give us once we get there or Eventually it'll give us something, hopefully, right? But uh, anyways, I figured I would show you this little downgrade here a little bit and give you a bit of a scenic what on what I see here. And, and by the way, I am talking to Mr. Trucker Jukebox right now on the phone. Well, I guess I'm not really talking to him, but he's, he's listening to what I'm saying. But yeah, I think once we are at the bottom of this uh, hill, I think we're coming into Merritt. Merritt, British Columbia. Yeah, this, I think this has got to be about 10 miles downhill. As uh, you can see, you can still see we're not even close to being at the bottom yet. We're still rolling downhill, downhill. Got my engine brake on full blast and we're geared down one gear. We're cruising pretty good speeds downhill right now. But luckily it's not a super, super steep hill downhill. So we, uh, we're okay that way. So I don't think they have any runaway uh, 
lanes up here as far as I know. They do have them in some areas, but not in this particular stretch because uh, it's a long way down, I guess, And uh, but uh, they got a few spots where they have a bit of a flat spot so you can slow down a little bit, but then again it starts going downhill, so uh, I think trucks should be able to manage that. Let the brakes cool off a little bit while you're on the flat stretch and stuff. And then you can start using them again when you go downhill. I haven't seen mine smoke yet, so we're still in good business. I guess my engine brake is strong enough to hold it. But yeah, Stay now you can really ahead. see, uh, we're gonna be all the way down in the, in the bottom of that hill. You know, a bottom, way up there in the bottom of that valley. That's where we're gonna be after we're done descending from this area. 14 kilometers, that's where Merritt is, and that's the bottom, at the bottom of the hill. That's about, I would say, eight miles that we gotta go downhill yet. Oh, actually, I do have runaway lanes here. I didn't think they had, but it says they have one here. But yeah, just quite interesting to see, you know, for those of you that have never seen it. But anyways, we'll be back in a few. Well, guys, it looks like we got the cleaning crew out here cleaning up a little bit of snow, preparing for whatever comes uh, their way, I guess. So that way if we get more snow coming here in the near future they can at least get a little bit more snow toward the shoulder there yeah almost looks like we got a lot of four-wheelers up there and looks like they're getting ready to do some skiing up there yeah we got another brake check coming up here in the near future though it's not very far anymore. I think we saw a sign back there already. It's at 10 kilometers, so uh, probably here in the next couple of minutes we're going to be uh, coming up to a brick shack. We've got to do another brick shack. And I think that's the last one. I think that's the last one that we got to do here. And we're done for brick shacks. Then we will start getting more and more out of the mountain area. I mean, it will be uh, probably another hour or so, and then we'll probably be completely out of the mountains. So, may as well show you now what we can. See them beautiful big mountains up here, that's for sure. They're not big in all areas, but there are certain areas where they are humongous. Super big, oh yeah. But anyways, let's continue on cruising along and see what else happens today. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the areas that I consider one of the steepest downhill or uphill grade that you get in these mountains for the longest period. This might not be necessarily the uh, steepest part of everything, but uh, this is one of the longest area where it goes down the, the steepest and obviously you gotta come back up, right? So it's one of the longest area I've seen it. And here we got a bit of a, what they call a snow shed. Yeah. And well, what that really is, it's basically uh, where if they get an avalanche, the snow will roll right over this. And this is a bit of an area, I guess, where they've been having some problems with that. So that's why they have this up there. But yeah, we're almost at the bottom now, I think. But uh, this is definitely one of them dangerous areas, that's for sure. keeping an eye on things to make sure everything is okay. My brakes are not smoking and all that stuff, you know. It looks like we are just about out of this area anyway, so we're gonna start picking up a little bit of speed here. Yeah, they want us to keep our four ways on here when we go downhill this hill up here, so. That way people know that we're going a bit of a slower speed if they're coming up behind us in a four-wheeler. That's right. 
Looks like they got another runaway lane up here even. Wow. Well, better safe than sorry, right? That's right. Well, guys, the scale is open here today, and I'm just kind of curious on uh, what exactly this four-wheeler is doing in here. I don't know if that's a DOT officer or not, but that, uh, oh, maybe it is, yeah, they're going to the back there. So that's, oh, well, maybe not, yeah, he's not really going to the back, he just wanted to make a stop. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> but anyways, they are open up here today. We're taking a look at everybody. That's okay, they gotta do their job, right? It says we're supposed to stop before we go on to scale. <clears throat> yeah. So here we go. So let's see what we, uh, we get from these people today. Looks like we should be okay. We've been okay on every other scale. There we go. No problem. That's good. That's what we wanted to hear anyways. Uh, to see. Yeah, this guy up here, he just decided to pull her over. Yeah. Anyways, let's put the hammer down. I think this is the last scale anyways. So we should be the okay, a-okay. That's right. And I don't know if I told you guys yet or not, but uh, we just got informed that uh, we won't have a reload out of here until tomorrow. So we're pretty much going to be forced to sit here till tomorrow. Although, I mean, I did do some driving today, but uh, not as much as I would love to do. I'll only have about 460 kilometers. So, uh, which I could do twice of that and still be okay with ours. But that's the way it goes. Sometimes they don't always have a reload. Welcome to trucking, I say. Yeah. But anyways, let's make our way down to the terminal and drop this trailer. And I don't know what we're gonna do then. I'm not too sure. I do remember I do have a few uh, people that I know in the area I might see if I can get a hold of them I haven't talked to them in a long time if I can't get a hold of them maybe they're not busy this evening maybe we can hang out or something I don't know I just have to have to see we'll have to see what happens but anyways We'll continue on and uh, find out what happens, right? But this is pretty much uh, the last stretch of the real big mounts that you're going to see right here. As you can see, they're starting to open up right now. What I mean by that, they're starting to get further apart. And pretty much we're out of the hills. That's pretty much it. Won't have much more hills after this. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit hilly up in all those areas, but but not nearly where uh, as where we just drove through, it, you know. And I did make a pit stop here uh, just before this, just before the scale. And I had me a six-inch Subway sandwich with a bottle of water. Remember, we're not drinking any Coke anymore. Any of that stuff. Well, I tried to stay away from it anyway, so I've been pretty good for the last week too. I think I made one 
one exemption there this week where I had a bottle of Pepsi, that's it. And then other than that, yesterday we had uh, pineapple juice, so that was real juice, so it wasn't no sugar, no high sugar level in it and all that, as far as I know. Didn't taste like it anyways. But anyways, we'll see what kind of day we're gonna have today then. I guess it's just gonna be pretty much done because uh, we only have another hundred kilometers and we'll be at our terminal so not much exciting usually going on up there so not sure what will happen we just have to wait and see I suppose alrighty guys we are in the Langley BC area now we're only about four kilometers away from our terminal and look at the beautiful green grass or green things that we start seeing up here already. Yeah, just loving it. It's like plus 13, something like that up here. Oh, yeah. Beautiful out here, beautiful temperatures. But we are going to get to enjoy it a little bit too from what it sounds like from what it sounds like we are not going to get our uh, loaded trailer we just got our load offer here a bit ago and it sounds like that we're not going to get our loaded trailer till tomorrow at 3 in the afternoon according to the load offer all that you got to remember that's BC time so they're two hours behind us so that means five o'clock central standard time that's when we're supposed to be able to get our load now that's gonna suck that means pretty much all day tomorrow I'm gonna be sitting here that's right I don't know what we're going to be doing tomorrow. I have absolutely no idea of it. I'm going to try and contact them yet and see if we can't get the load earlier. I already tried calling them, but they didn't obviously answer. What are you doing there, four wheeler? Oh well, look what you did now. There's another one coming up here. Exit ramp doesn't start till over there where that yellow sign is. But any case. Just beautiful green grass up here, that's all I know. But anyways, let's go deliver the slow to our terminal and then we'll go from there. Alrighty guys, we've been sitting here for a good while now already and uh, apparently we don't have no other loads. So yeah, we're just sitting there at the yard here in Surrey, BC. Yep, not doing anything. I watched a couple of movies already and uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do, but I figured, well... I guess I'll close the show off for today because it doesn't look like we're going to be doing anything else anyways. And then that way at least it gives me something to do. I'll put this video together and uh, work on uploading it to YouTube. And that way we're good to go with this one. And then uh, I guess we'll uh, wait for a load tomorrow. Apparently we have a reload out of here tomorrow. Well, not out of here, but I got to go to Richmond. Uh, Richmond and uh, pick up a preloaded trailer over there but the load ain't supposed to be ready till three o'clock in the afternoon which is five o'clock my time so that kind of sucks but hey what can you do eh i guess that's about all i can do eh but anyways we'll get out of here and uh, i hope you enjoyed today's vlog though anyways so we'll see you guys again tomorrow <laughs>